Good day, everyone. I'm your host for today, Professor Edgar Palin from the College of Computing and Information Sciences. Thank you for attending our webinar with the title, Watch, Share, or Create, Navigating Through TikTok and Its Influence to Its Users. I'm sure every one of you has already used or have heard about this application. In this webinar, our objective is to educate you of its applications and how it can affect our lives. First, I would like to thank our speakers for today who have dedicated their time to be part of this webinar. We have the Dean of the College of Computing and Information Sciences, Dr. Denzel Carl Sullivan, our welcoming remark speaker. Uh, also, we have Professor Rachel de Guzman Angelina K. Gapura, also from CCIS as our event speaker. And lastly, our guest speaker for the session, Dr. Debbie Tolibas, a psychologist in St. Luke's Medical Center, BGC. Uh, as of the moment, may we remind everyone to turn off your microphones during the conduct of the session so that we can hear clearly the discussions of our speakers. Also, feel free to type your questions in the chat box. We will now start our program with welcoming remarks from Dr. Denzel Sullivan. Good day, everyone. It gives me an immense pleasure to start this auspicious occasion. I heartily welcome you all for today's session. Thank you for taking the time to join us today as we talk about the application that we can say a very famous application nowadays, TikTok. In this webinar, we'll leave with the how tos of the application, the disadvantages and advantages, also as to how it affects its users and such. So stay tuned to learn more about it. So thank you for that, Dr. Sullivan. Without further ado, let's get started with our first speaker, Professor De Guzman, from our College of Computing and Information Sciences, as she will discuss how to use the TikTok application. Let's give her a virtual round of applause. Thank you, Prof. Palan. Good morning, everyone. Um, TikTok nowadays is one of the applications that we use most often. You can create your own video and watch entertaining videos. But how can we use it exactly? Is TikTok for watching videos only? So hello, I am Professor Andy Guzman, and I will tell you how to use the TikTok application. First of all, before creating and watching videos, you need to create an account before using the TikTok completely. And we have five ways to create an account. You can use phone or email, continue with Facebook, with Google, with Twitter, with Line or KakaoTalk. After creating an account, you can watch videos, heart videos, leave a comment, or share videos. And you can also search for what kind of videos you want to watch. Aside from watching videos, you can create your own video by pressing the plus symbol at the bottom of the screen and start to record yourself. After recording, you can edit the video, you can apply filters, add music, or even add text. Stickers, effects, add caption, voice effects, voiceover, or adjust a clip. If the setup is complete, you can now upload. You can now upload it. You can choose between everyone, private, or friends when you're going to upload any videos. And everyone, anybody can watch your videos. When, while in private, only you can watch the videos. And in the friends option, only your friends can watch the videos you've uploaded. And before posting, you can also tag people, add your location, and many more. On the profile page, you can see that the videos you can see the videos you've uploaded, your private videos, videos that you heart, and videos you put in your favorites. Other than watching videos, or you can also chat or communicate with your friends. And if you want to have more friends, you can just follow and become friends with them. You can also repost the video. Click the Not Interested button, save, do it, and stitch the video. That's all on how to use the TikTok application. Thank you for listening. Thank you for that amazing detailed tutorial, Professor De Guzman. With just a few clicks, you can already start uploading videos in your account. Moving on to our second speaker, also a professor from our College of Computing and Information Sciences, ladies and gentlemen, to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of TikTok application, let us all welcome Professor Jelena K. Gapura. So using TikTok application, let us see what it can do to you. And uh, 
after researching and as a TikTok user myself, I have listed some of the advantages and disadvantages of using TikTok app. So here are the advantages. First is the endless entertainment. Once you register with TikTok, it's easiest to bring a smile to your face and read the day's stress. Second, TikTok can make you famous. Regardless of your location, you can grow your fan base and following. How good would it be to reach the global audiences and showcase your talent online? You can start creating contents that would reflect your personality and will be known based or identified based on it. Third, a suitable option for business promotion. If you have stepped into freelancing or video blogging, this app can take your business to heights. Besides being a social networking app, TikTok also serves as a reliable tool to deal with your business needs. And fourth, hang out with your groupies. This advanced app goes beyond just texting and sharing stuff. Then you can group up with like-minded users. It's pretty conclusive that the TikTok app is also another way to socialize with people other than Facebook and Twitter. And lastly, for the advantages, you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to have a specific skills. Yes, what is like on TikTok video app is what gets viral instantly. Fame is just a few minutes away as the more viewers engage in your content, the more viral your stuff gets across the net. So let us proceed to this disadvantages. The first one is fake accounts. As the application gets more attention from everyone, some prime users have also found found the TikTok video app as a perfect platform to impersonate or misuse their rights. Second, the clickbait methods. A free version of this application is laden with ads that are annoying and sometimes your users to pay. Many sites just look for a way to monetize by hook or by crook. And third, overuse and addiction. As this app tends to host more and more content, Kids are turning addicted to its overuse. Such addiction is resulting in distress among parents as well. Fourth, time wastage. Figure out what's even worse than just scrolling down the countless videos. There are minimal chances of finding educational content on the TikTok app. Participating in a real-time activity seems more advantageous than clipping videos. So moving on to the last of the disadvantages, cyberbullying. TikTok has also grabbed attention for its rampant use as a tool for harassment. Trollers leverage this application to deliver distasteful and offensive remarks against the people they disapprove of. This is not only portrays false characterization, but also makes you think of the impacts of disrespect on a user or a particular community. So a bit reminder, these are just some of the advantages and disadvantages of using the TikTok app. Social media apps have turned into a convenient tool to express both your concerns and open mockery. As everyone has the right to freedom of expression, you should also consider the negative effect of defaming or disrespecting someone. So that is all. Thank you for listening. And I hope that you have learned a lot from my presentation. Okay, so we learned a lot from Professor Gakura's presentation. Thank you for that, Prof. Well, I guess no matter how much we say about TikTok's advantages to its users, we still can't avoid those disadvantages mentioned. Now to discuss the underlying effects of TikTok to the mental health of its users, may we call on our guest speaker for this session, Dr. Debbie Tolibas. Um, thank you for the warm introduction, Mr. Palen. So again, I am Dr. Debbie Tulipas, and I'll be discussing the effects of TikTok in our mental health. So um, TikTok, uh, I mean, before that, I'll just make a quick introduction about the application. So TikTok is an application or platform wherein you can showcase your creativeness and at the same time express yourself. So TikTok is derived from the sound of a ticking clock that represents the short feature of the video platform. And another TikTok's primary audience is composed of teenagers aging 14 to 18 years old, which are considered the most active in social media. And according to researches, six out of 10 people were spending more than five hours on TikTok. So 
TikTok has been considered as one of the most famous and most used application for this past few years and up till now. It is now the most powerful social media platform because, again, it has been stated that um, six out of 10 people were spending more than five hours on TikTok. So now let's talk about the effect of TikTok in our mental health. So since the application is known for its wide range and variety, you can literally just watch related videos or clips in according to your likes or just encounter random videos that might be harmful for you. So the number one is harassment. So apps like TikTok can easily be used by predators to solicit minors because the app itself makes it easy for strangers to direct message children or minors. So there are no restrictions as to, to, as to who can join the app and it is used internationally, connecting virtually everyone. Explained by a digital family expert named Teresa DeSuyo at the parental control software named Custodio. Second one is offensive contents and hate speeches. Some experts report it can be easy to come across a triggering content on the app that could promote issues like self-harm or eating disorders. Here is an example. A high school principal in New York tells a smart social founder, Josh Ox, that Students are being bullied on TikTok. Some students are even making fun of each other's videos, while others are making videos just to ridicule their fellow students. Next one is fake news and information, followed by scam, fake identities, and at last, time consuming. So in conclusion, TikTok might bring bad effects in our mental health, just like the effects that I've stated a while ago, which may offend or somehow invalidates the feeling and emotional being of the user. Um, it can also be a medium to harass someone, scam, or use the application in so many wrong ways. Um, as what they have always said, too much can kill you, so let us all learn to manage our time properly and be our responsible net set. And that's a wrap. Remember that every word is the matter and be careful, always think before you click. Thank you, Dr. Tulibas, for that very informative presentation. Imagine how with only one application, serious damages are caused to individuals using it. Wow. So, moving on with our last speaker, may we call on Dr. Denzel Sullivan to discuss the underlying prevalent issue of TikTok concerning the widespread of false information. Thank you so much, Prof. Colin. It seems that our webinar is nearing its end and our participants are looking forward to having their lunch. So, before we begin with our last topic, I'd like to start a simple quiz for our participants. It's a two-item quiz, so don't, don't worry. First, what's the definition of disinformation? A, news or stories on the internet that are not true. B, inaccurate information distributed by accident or without malicious intent. Or C, Inaccurate information deliberately distributed and intended to confuse, mislead, or influence. Two, why is fake news harmful? A, it's not really harmful. B, many people believe fake news. Or C, all answers are true. Correct. Okay, so please check your own paper. The correct answer for number one is C, and for number two is B. Enough with that. Let's put it. Let's proceed to the discussion. Ever since the pandemic started, people have been spending more of their time on social media, especially in TikTok. According to Jolly 2021, TikTok is one of the top five social media platforms in the world this year. However, we can't deny that the said application brings more negative effects than the good ones that includes it becoming the main source of false information. Being intrigued about this app, my team conducted a research and found tracking political misinformation and disinformation on TikTok quite challenging. This was despite the fact that the platform launched a fact-checking pro program with independent fact-checking organizations that would help review and assess the accuracy of content on the platform. And there have been already several incidents of vast amount of misinformation being spread, especially in regards to information about COVID-19 and the vaccine. The misinformation spread on TikTok has led to many of the videos being removed. In response to fake news posted on app in 2020, like what I have said a while ago, the platform removed more than 50,000 videos about false COVID-19 inf information. 
That being said, I would like to end my presentation by pointing out that although information is accessible faster, it does not always tell the entire story. Thank you so much and God bless us. Thank you for that enlightenment, Dr. Sullivan. Can you just imagine how fast fake information spreads in the internet? So we really have to be vigilant and resourceful during these times. Okay, so we will now proceed with the open forum for our participants. Do we have any questions from the topic discussed? Anyone? Um, I think they have no questions, so you may now proceed, Mr. Palin. So, all right, since there are no questions from the participants, we can conclude that everyone have understood all of the topics discussed. So now, as we have finished all the topics from this webinar, we will now proceed to the giving of the certificates. Certificate of Appreciation. This certificate is given to Dr. Denzel Carl Sullivan, Prof. Rachel Ande Guzman, Prof. Julina K. Gakura, and Dr. Debbie Tolibas for sharing their valuable knowledge as an event speaker during the webinar with the title, Watch, Share, or Create, Navigating Through TikTok and Its Influence to Its Users. Given this 4th of June, 2022, at JP Rizal Extension, University of Makati, Makati City, signed by Dr. Denzel Carusel Ben, Dean of College of Computing and Information Sciences. Let's give them a virtual applause. So that's all for our webinar. Uh, thank you everyone for staying with us up until the end. You may now leave the webinar. <laughs>